Today's episode is actually a viewer request episode. On that video I did a little while ago on the Foxwell battery tester, the digital new modern one. In the video I showed an archaic one that when you hook it up it has like, um, like a big copper wire in it that heats up and it tests the battery. And there was a discussion that some people actually prefer the old archaic one over the new one because the old one will tell you that the battery is bad where the new digital ones are misleading. And that's a very good question to ask. I know the battery in my truck is about six years old and I'm almost 100% certain I'm gonna have to change it this winter because the first like really cold spell, minus 20, I'm gonna go start my truck and that's when it's gonna die. So in this video, let's hook them both back up to the battery and see what each one says. Let's get started. So in case for some people that haven't watched that video, here's the two testers right here. Here's the new modern tester, I really like it. And this is the old archaic tester you could see inside there. I thought it was like a copper wire. I don't know what it is. It's some sort of wire that bridges between the negative and positive posts that heats up and there'll be smoke coming up from all the dust and it'll test the battery. It'll tell you bad, weak, or good. So let's hook this up to my truck. Twelve volts, it says. See, it only can go, can't go half numbers. And it's eight fifty cold cranking apps. So, see, it already comes back as bad. First it said bad, now it's just saying weak. And now it sounds like it's dying. Now this says good, 12.09. But see, it measured 532 cold cranking amps when it's rated for 850. During that quick test, what did we learn? The old archaic one first said the battery was bad. The second test, it said it was weak, under load, 10.1 volts. Now, on the digital one, the Foxwell, I just did a cold cranking amps test and what may get people confused is at the top that said good recharge. Now good recharge doesn't mean that the battery's good. If you looked at the other ratings, the battery's rated for 850 cold cranking amps but only measured 500 and some. So that's getting pretty close that the battery's only putting out half of the cold cranking amps. So that tells me that the battery's weak, it's just that the old archaic one just automatically comes out and tells you. So this is where I could see where people may get confused between them both. Let's put it on my Jeep. That ain't bad too. So that's saying 12.6 volts. The meter's saying 11.69. So on this side here, the SOH stands for battery state of health. It's at 45%, state of charge, 33%. What did we learn using both testers on both vehicles? The state of health of the battery 
and the F-150 is at 53%. Cold cranking amps is almost less than half. The Jeep, however, the battery is actually weaker. It's in the 40% range, which means it's gonna be expensive next couple months, get new batteries in both those vehicles. You know, realistically, that battery's been in the Jeep since I built it. And when did I build that Jeep? When did I start that build? Like 2013? So that's quite a long time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys have any other request videos you'd like to see in the future, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys later.